The Galaxy S24 Ultra first look is out, and things are looking good, as the S24 Ultra will get some significant changes. This is the first look at the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It appears similar to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, however the S24 Ultra will have a flat display, rounded sides, and a titanium frame. There are a few major implications from these new images. First, the bezels on an S24 Ultra will be symmetrical, which means they will all be the same size. This has never occurred before on a Samsung handset, but there is a drawback to these new bezels, they are rather thick in comparison to the previous generation. The S23 Ultra is the outside display, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is the inside display, with large bezels. This is how it compares to the iPhone 15 Pro Max and iPhone 14 Pro Max, it appears better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but there is no comparison when the bezels are compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Despite the fact that Samsung manufactures screens for Apple, they should do something similar with its own Galaxy S24 family, one thing to note is that despite having somewhat larger bezels, Samsung will apply a new technology on the S24 Ultra M13 that Apple will use in the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this new technology will boost the S24 Ultra's peak brightness. According to leaked information, it will be more over 2200 nits, and we can expect at least 2500 nits peak brightness on the S24 Ultra, which is much greater than the 1715 nits on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 made for Galaxy processor will be an overclocked version of the normal Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, with a clock speed of 3.3 GHz instead of 3.19 on the normal Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, and this new overclock version will be 10% faster than the normal Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. However, there is some bad news, Samsung will also include the Exynos 2400 on the S24 Ultra, which will be released in two regions, Asia and Europe, despite the fact that the numbers on the Exynos 2400 are quite high. Whereas the Exynos version of the S24 Ultra will feature a 10-core CPU and a 12-core GPU, power efficiency is the only problem we have. The clock speed will be lower than that of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, at 3.1 GHz. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.